Stay strong in spirit. In these times of fighting and praying through the things that are going on in our world, it's important to stay spiritually strong. If we stay strong, we will be able to make it through when things come against us. Proverbs 18.14 says, The strong spirit of a man will sustain him in sickness and trouble, but who can bear a broken spirit? We can get crushed in life's difficulties. To stand strong in this fight, we must use our spiritual weapons and armour. Ephesians 6 10 says, Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. I will rise up and take the challenge. Set for my life. I will rise up and take the challenge. It's time, I know it's time. I will rise up and take the challenge. Set for my life. I will rise up and take the challenge. It's time, I know it's time. When called of God, we do have enemies that oppose us, but we are also told how we can overcome them. Our fight is against principalities and powers and rulers of the darkness of this world. We do not fight against flesh and blood. We need to put on the whole armour of God, which enables us to stand strong and causes us to be victorious. We need our waist girded with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness. Take the shield of faith to quench those fiery darts of the wicked one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Let your prayers be directed, energized and sustained by the Holy Spirit. He has given us the weapons to vigorously oppose and bravely resist evil forces. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. You can deal with whatever comes against you. The Amplified Bible says, I am ready for anything. I'm equal to anything through him who infuses inner strength into me. Let's be ready for anything that comes our way, knowing that in him we have the victory. can show us the way through. Know who you are in Him. You are an overcomer. None of us know what the future holds. We don't know what we will be called upon to endure. I remember vividly the day I received the phone call that my brother's truck was hit by a train and he was airlifted to hospital. He passed away, leaving behind a wife and three children. It was a difficult time. Faith in God does not mean that we won't be faced with challenges and problems. To survive, we have to learn how to encourage and strengthen ourselves in the Lord. you are facing today, you have what it takes to get through. God is on your side and you are more than a conqueror. God has given you authority 
over the enemy. You are a warrior. Isaiah says, he gives power to the faint and weary. Are you feeling a bit weary today? In him who has no might, he increases his strength, causing it to multiply. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings of eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. When going through tough times, do not fear. God is with you and you will come out stronger.